Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Alfa Fadil Ibrahim and I come from SMB Muhammadiyah Direct YKC and I'm going to tell you the story of the legend of Roro Jumra. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom named Pramana. The people of Pramana lived very, very peacefully. However, soon there comes a kingdom named Pengin. The king, Bandung Mondawasa, wanted to occupy Pramana. He was a very, very strong and very mean king. Prambanan and Penging had a big, big war. The war between Prambanan and Penging could not be avoided. Prambanan lost the war and led by the new king, Bandung Bondawasa. Bandung Bondawasa could win the war because Bandung Bondawasa had supernatural power. His soldiers were not only from humans, but also from genes. Those creatures always obeyed what Bandung Bandawasa asked them to do. The Pramana king had a very beautiful daughter. Her name is Roro Chungra. And Bandung Bandawasa fell in love with Roro Chungra and wanted to marry her. You look so beautiful, Roro Chungra. Will you marry me and be my queen? Marry you and be your queen. If you want to marry me, you have to build 1,000 temples in just one night. Remember, Bandung Bondawasa, 1,000 temples in just one night. What? Impossible! You just gave me an excuse for not marrying me. But Bandung Mondawasa did not give up. He asked all the genes to help him. And then, like usual, the genes obeyed the law of Bandung Mondawasa. The genes started building the temple in the middle of the night. Meanwhile, Roro Jungra heard from the lady in waiting that the temple is about to be finished. Roro Jungra was very, very, very scared. She did not want to marry Bandung Bandawasa because Bandung Bandawasa made the people of Prambanan suffer. And then, Roro Jungra had a very, very great idea. She asked all the people of Prambanan to prepare a lot of straw and mortars. The people of Prambanan were very confused why they have to prepare a lot of straw and mortars. Listen. All those jeans are better than the temples, right? We have to burn the straw and pound the mortar so it's just like a new day. The jeans are afraid of the sunlight and they will run away. Without thinking long, the people of Rambanan obey the law of Rorochongra. They burn the straw and pound the mortars so it's just like a new day and the jeans ran away. Yes, it works. All those jeans ran away. They thought it was a new day. And now, Brahman is safe. But unfortunately, Bandung Bandawasa knew that Roro Jungra just tricked him and his soldiers. Bandung Bandawasa was very, very angry because Roro Jungra just tricked him. You cannot fool me, Roro Jungra. I already have 999 temples and I will make you as the thousandth temple. With this supernatural power, Bandung Bondawasa made Roro Jungra as the thousandth temple. Until now, the temple is still standing in central Java, Indonesia. The temple is named Prambanan Temple. Now, all tourists around the world come to central Java to see the temple of Prambanan. That's it that I can say. See you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.